Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Lavoit. This is their Vital 200S Smart True HEPA Air Purifier. This is a air purifier that has several different modes, including a dedicated pet mode for all you pet owners out there that uh, maybe are trying to cut down on animal dander, uh, things like that. Of course, your normal pollen and other uh, 0.1 to 0.3 UM airborne particles will be filtrated at 99.97% with its HEPA filter. We're going to dig into this now and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is uh, what you get once you get it out of the box. Of course, you're going to get the main unit itself, the 200S, uh, and you do get a power supply, which I'll show you in just a few moments. You do get some uh, handouts here, and these are important because it gives you kind of a quick reference on all the buttons on the unit, which I will, of course, demonstrate for you as well. Uh, but it gives you a QR code at the bottom to go get the app. Uh, for this as well because it's Wi-Fi enabled you can actually put this on your Wi-Fi network and then control it through the app which I'll also demonstrate with the vSync app. Now you can get it for iOS and for Android uh, so that you can uh, control this via your phone or your tablet and you can even hook up Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant to help control this as well. Now here are some specifications for this and I do want to reiterate that this does have an H13 True HEPA filter uh, that really helps with pet dander uh, and of course other things like pollen things like that you can see the area coverage it's going to cover uh, a up to 1900 square feet per hour uh, so it really will uh, work out for large rooms as well as small rooms uh, to uh, do uh, cover pretty much any room in your house now you do have a standard two prong to barrel plug here for plugging in the unit itself uh, and then of course we get the unit uh, which we'll go over right now so let's take a look at the front of the unit first Okay, so looking at the front of the unit here, you can see we've got uh, all of our intake. Uh, what has a U-shaped intake, that black strip that runs around this. Uh, you can kind of see it from the side here. It's a U-shape. It's going to pull air in from the sides and also from the front bottom portion, and then it's going to push the clean air out the top. So that U-shape is really important because that gets down near the floor, especially if you have pets. Uh, you're going to have a lot of pet hair on the floor things like that uh, so you're going to uh, definitely benefit from that u-shape at the bottom here on the back you can see where that's where we plug it in for our power and that's pretty much it as far as how it looks um, it's got a nice sleek modern look to it and i really do like that now it's easy to pull off the front cover here and the first thing that we're going to get when we do that is we're going to get a pre-filter this is a washable pre-filter here and you do have two tabs at the top uh, that you can see one on the right and one on the left and you just pull them inwards and the pre-filter comes out. Now this is a washable pre-filter so this is great uh, for uh, extending the lifespan of the H13 HEPA filter. Now that also comes included here wrapped up. Now this is the Vital 200S filter. It's an H13 True HEPA activated carbon filter which is really nice you can see that it's super thick uh, so let me get it out and show you exactly what it looks like and then you can uh, check that out okay so the cool thing about the filter itself is that it's a three-stage filter which is really great uh, it's a three-stage filter and you can see that there's activated carbon in there uh, which is really great it's got more 170 grams of activated carbon content compared with the vital 100s super easy to install here you can see you can just push this in uh, make sure that that blue uh, flap is, is faced towards you and you can put your pre-filter in as well now this captures up to a 99.99 of certain viruses and bacteria. Uh, this has been tested uh, independently lab tested by Lavoit. Uh, again, it will uh, clean up to 1,900 square feet 
per hour, which is pretty impressive for the size of the unit itself. Okay, so that was a sound test there for the Lavoit, and you can see that uh, I went through all of the modes 1, 2, 3, and 4, which is uh, kind of an automatic mode, uh, and it gets as low as 24 decibels, so sleeping in the same room with this will be no problems. Now, it can get up to about 54, 55 decibels uh, at its highest mode, but that's when it's really working, and uh, you shouldn't uh, have too much of a problem with this when it's in a larger room at higher volumes. Okay, so taking a quick look at the buttons themselves, the capacitive buttons here, uh, flat to the unit, you've got your power button, you've got your fan mode button, you've got a sleep button, and a reset filter button, so when it does need to be reset, you can, an automatic button. You also have a timer here for two hours, four hours, or eight hours, a lock button, and then a, a light button that will actually turn off all the lights on the unit itself. Now, when it's in its normal mode, it will have an ambient light sensor, so when the room gets dark, it will start to lower the lighting on this to accommodate for that, so that way if you have it in your bedroom and you're sleeping, you're good to go. You've got the ring around the outside that will show you your air quality, blue, is a very good green is good yellow is uh, not so good and red is bad so that's how you know uh, right off the bat okay so let's take a quick look at the vsync app that you can get for android or for ios i have it for android here you're going to want to install the app and create an account once you do you can either add a device right at the bottom left or at the top right and we're going to go in there and add our Lavoit. Now it's going to be under air quality on the left, so we're going to click that tab. And you can see uh, that they have uh, some other ones, but some Lavoit ones are here uh, and are ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the 200S, which is the one that we have. We're going to click on that. It's going to ask us for some permissions. Uh, so it does near uh, nearby devices needs to be allowed. Uh, so that is fine. And at the top, you're going to see it says click uh, to enable of the access so we want to do that as well now it's just going to scan for it it's going to ask for location and i'm going to say when using the app and you can see it popped right up in the uh, top here so then we can click on that and set it on up now it's going to tell us to push the power button for five seconds until we see the blinking wi-fi icon and this is what that looks like right above the power button there. Now, once we do that, it's going to ask us for our 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. There's mine, Galaxy Tech Review, right there. It's going to ask us for our password. And the reason it's doing that is the app is going to upload our Wi-Fi information to the device so it can sit on our Wi-Fi network, and then the app can control the device, which is really handy to have. Uh, and uh, I'll show you that a little bit more in depth here once we get this all set up. So we put our password in, hit connect, and now it is going to upload that information to the 200S. And this takes all of about five to 10 seconds really to get set up. So it's initializing the device now, and now we are pretty much ready to go. We can assign this to an existing room or assign it to a new room. I am going to pick, I guess, living room at this point, and then we will click next. Uh, and then we can name it and we can actually take a picture of, or use an icon for it. It already has one on there, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to name it the Vital 200S. Now, once we have our name in there and our icon that we like, we can hit save. And the next screen is going to have a firmware update if it needs to be applied. Make sure you do that before you go further in the app. 
Once you get any firmware updates out of the way, you have a third-party app screen here where you can hook this up to Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant if you want to use those to turn off or change the modes that you're in or directly from your voice assistant, which is really nice. Now on the main screen, you can see your air quality here. And so far mine is very good, which is a good thing. I can turn it on and off. Uh, I've got a schedule and a timer here. And uh, I also have light detection and we can, uh, you you know, turn off the light if it detects the room is going dark. So that is great if you're going to set this up in your bedroom. Again, you have a one, two, three, and four here, an auto sleep and a pet on the main screen. This is going to change your uh, speed of the fan itself all the way up to four. You can put it on auto and if it senses bad air quality, it will adjust the fan speed. Your sleep and your pet modes if you definitely have pets and you want to get rid of pet odors and danders. Now you're going to have your filter life that is remaining here and your indoor quality and that indoor quality actually shows you data over time in a graph to allow you to see uh, you know, what time of day, what the fan speeds were, and what your air quality is over time. You also have a way of scheduling and of course your timer here. If you want it for it to run for 30 minutes and shut off, you can. You can also do presets of one hour, two hour, four hours, and eight hours. You do have your display and you can turn that display on and off right from here or use the light detection. You can also do the display lock. And then you have your auto mode settings here and I just leave it on default but you can change them up as well. Uh, and you can change your sleep mode settings as well as add a smart scene. And that's great for setting up a mode, particularly if you're uh, sleeping uh, and you have this in your bedroom. So overall, the uh, V-Sync app offers you a ton of features uh, to supplement the Vital 200S by Lavoie. Okay, so that's my review of the Levoit Vital 200S uh, air purifier. Now, I, what the things I really like about this is if you have pets, this is going to help eliminate pet odors and pet danders with that H13 HEPA filter. It's going to clear up to 1,900 square feet per hour. It uh, has a washable pre-filter, and it has that unique U-shaped air inlet that's going to pull air in from the sides and from the bottom, which is very important because pet hair is going to be close to the floor and that's going to help eliminate that as well. Now it has activated carbon uh, in it as well, which is really going to help to clear up to 99.97% of certain viruses and bacteria. Overall, I'm going to give this a thumbs up, especially with its Wi-Fi connection and included app. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.